Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, I talked about this beer when I was out in Madeira, I had it in the fridge, so here it is. It's Francis Kiner's um, Vice Beer. Um, it's coming in at 5% ABV. Um, obviously, it's out of Germany. Um, so, yeah, there's the beer. You can get this in most supermarkets. Um, just this one though, I haven't seen any others, I haven't seen the Dunkel, um, or the the Crystal, it's a, it's a clear um, Hefeweizen, um, but this is the uh, the original, um, so yeah, premium Hefeweizen beer, so let's get this beer out then, hopefully it won't go everywhere, no, we're all good, bit of smoke on the opening, forgot to show the bottle cap. There it is. Get my half of eyes and glass. Let that settle down a little bit. So what we got is three, three and a half fingers of white head. Loads of bubbles streaming up there. As you'd expect from a Hefeweizen. Um, yeah, it's like a, a very light orangey colour. You can see through the beer, but it's a bit cloudy. Um, typical style, really. Let's get an aroma on this Hefeweizen. So you're picking up the, you know, the bog standard kind of banana herbs not herbs spices sorry yeah there's kind of it's nutmeg um there's also some kind of there's a you know that box down of fruit that you get going on in the hefeweizen cloves Smells really nice anyway. Gonna give this a go anyway, because I've needed this beer. Cheers. I don't know whether it's just because I'm in real need of a beer. That tastes absolutely lovely. I've only put a little bit in as well, so I've got that much left in the bottle, so good happy days. It's in a 500ml bottle. Nice spice. Nice carbonation on the tongue. Not a bad mouthfeel. It's leaving a nice tang on the palate. It's coating everywhere. It's lovely. I can't remember where I got it. It was one of the uh, one of the main supermarkets. I can't remember which one. But you can get this pretty much any time of the year in the UK. Anyway, um, I had the uh, the Dunkel in Madeira uh, from Francis Kiner, and that was that was really nice as well. Um, I did have the other Francis Kiner beer, the clear Hefeweizen. Um, but by the time I had had it, I was I was well on the way, so I didn't bother posting that one. Um, so I'll try and do that one again sometime. Um, it's really nice. It's you know you could session this quite quite comfortably, I think. So it's been sitting in the fridge for a while. Um, yeah. May next year is the best before date, so it's a lovely kind of. I, I like drinking these when it's quite hot, but we're, we're just coming out of the well, we're sort of halfway through the autumn now, um, so we, we're gonna we're sort of heading towards some colder weather. Um, I've got a few sours still left to do as well. Um, 
a fair few actually so I'm going to try and get them out of the way um, there's one or two beers that are from the same brewery and I'm, I'm going to do them back to back one after the other so uh, I've noticed a lot of my reviews they're all from a certain few breweries I'm, I'm, I've got to try and expand to different breweries um, but saying that um, there's a lot of breweries, beers I do, you know, I think the breweries are fantastic. Um, plus what you can get hold of as well. I have a Waitrose in Ramsgate, so I need to raid them at some point. Mm. But this is lovely. It's solid. Put the last bit in. Must remember to actually pour it on camera rather than uh, out of shot. Oh. So, as for a rating, one more little taste. It's a nice tang, a bit of lemony, there's a bit of orange in there as well. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10 today. 7 out of 10 from me. If you've had this beer before, put it down in the comments box. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, please subscribe and cheers.